Hello, and welcome back to Crafty Nanny, original stories with simple crafts designed to engage you and your little one. Go on a journey with new friends and bring home souvenirs by completing the crafts when the story ends. There's a new story each week, so if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to click that button below. Now, let's turn the page to see what's happening today. Today's story is Patch, Hedgy and Scoot Build an Ant Farm by Anushka R. Merrill. Patch, Hedgy and Scoot lived in a lush meadow on the edge of the woods. As the weather warmed up, many insects came out of hiding and scurried about in the sunshine. Butterflies drank nectar on the edge of Dew Pond. Bees darted to and from their hives, making and storing honey, and ants collected scraps to replenish their stock eaten over winter. Inside Patch, Hedgy, and Scoot's house, a trail of ants walked along the hallway which led from the kitchen, each carrying one Cheerio on its head. Scoot followed closely behind with a magnifying glass. Hey Patch, come take a look at this, he called. The ants are marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah, said Hedgy, as she came down the hallway to get a snack. She noticed the ants carrying the Cheerios. Scoot, what are you doing? Are you feeding the ants again? Mom is not going to be happy about this. Insect lives matter, Hedgy. Ants are people too, he replied. No, they're not, said Patch, eating an apple. They're pests, not people, and you had better get them out of here before mom sees what you're doing. So, how am I supposed to study them if I can't observe them? asked Scoot. Easy, watch Animal Planet, said Hedgy. A scientist needs life subjects, debated Scoot. Hey. I'm no scientist, but I learned that there are over 12,000 species of ants, said Patch, and they live on every continent except Antarctica. My favorite are the leafcutter ants. Yeah, what's so good about them? asked Scoot, still looking at the ants through his magnifying glass. For starters, they're good at composting. They clip leaves, carry them back to their nests, and then use the leaf clippings to grow their own food, said Patch. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder what kind of ants these are, said Scoot. The kind that will get you in trouble with Mom, said Hedgy. Quick, here she comes. Scoot quickly threw a newspaper over the ants so their mom wouldn't see them. What's going on here? Mom asked. Oh, nothing. Just siblings having a little chat, replied Scoot. Uh-huh, said Mom suspiciously. Is that yesterday's newspaper? Please put it in the recycling bin. Um, sure, Scoot said. Patch began to whistle as the newspaper started moving away from the group. Patch, why is the newspaper moving? Patch, Hedgy, and Scoot looked down and saw that the ants were carrying the newspaper along with them. Ants? Ants! yelled Mom. It wasn't me! Scoot did it! Hedgy and Patch quickly replied. Get them out of here this instant! Did you learn nothing from last year? We had ants in the cupboard for weeks! Last year, Scoot had invited a nest of ants to live in the pantry so that he could study them. That experiment was a disaster. Oh, please, Mom, just for today. They are such fascinating creatures. They are so strong. What if I built an ant farm? Scoot pleaded. What if you built a pretend ant farm and waited until this quarantine was over to study ants in their natural habitat? Outside, said Mom. Aw, all right, replied Scoot. He brushed the ants and their Cheerios onto the newspaper and took them to the front door. See you in a few weeks, he said, as he placed the newspaper on the ground so they could find their way home again. Back inside, Patch and Hedgy were already working on their ant farms. 
they cut a plus sign from a cereal box, then folded and taped the sides to make a shallow box. They then traced around this shape to cut a perfectly sized rectangular display window from the Claire Berry container. Strips from the toilet paper roll were painted, bent, and glued into place to create the maze pattern. Whole peppercorns were used as the ants. The last step was to glue the Claire window to the top of the finished ant farm. Patch made a big ant farm, but Hedgy and Scoot made theirs pocket-sized so they could easily carry them around. They then tried getting the peppercorn ants up and down the maze without getting stuck. It was like a puzzle and quite fun. Satisfied with their creations, they went to show mom what they had made. She was impressed. Now these ants I like, she said. They can stay all day. Then she tried each of their ant farm puzzles and had a blast getting the ants from one point to another. The end. Time to create your own ant farm. Ask a grown-up to help you and get your ants marching one by one. Remember to share your creations on Instagram and tag us at IGCraftyNanny. Keep crafting and we'll see you next time.